Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Bismillah wa alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in amma ba'd. Honorable dignitaries, respected teachers and beloved friends who are sitting before me as a remarkable audience. First of all, I thank to God Allah Almighty for maxing out this opportunity to deliver a speech about this wonderful topic on this kind of spirit's people. So, it's also my huge pleasure that the topic is is it the right time to speak of political Islam which bring us a relevant topic in this contemporaneous context? So, now I am in mature reflection of this topic to be expressed here the integral core of it. Dear friends, the topic is, is it the right time to speak of political Islam? Answer is, yes, this is time to speak of political Islam. Nowadays, we are facing a lot of troubles like exclusions, inequalities and discriminations in the entire corner of our life. Actually, what's the cause of it? We are not, everybody, else is, uh, everybody of us is not in line with our lineages ethics. What's the cause of that? But it is very pleasure that a lot of people, majority of people, they are raising their voice against every nasty, nasty nauseating activities or nauseating act or laws that's going on in our country without spiring their feelings in their own health. It's a pleasure. But some people are completely afraid of something. I don't know what's the cause of that. I think the government is determined to oppose, put down all opposed against their rules. Actually, we want to raise our voice against it. We, as Indian citizens, will be compelled to raise our voice. We will be compelled to struggle against all woeful activities, woeful laws that's against our constitution. Actually, the India's democratic mode of constitution is a wonderful thing. So we want to keep it. We are Islamic students. This is our topic, the political Islam. Yes, this is the right time to speak of political Islam. We want to convey the entire, entire ethics of Islam in political way. Islam has wonderful ethics. Actually, when Modi government is doing a lot of nauseating laws in this world, we can count down a lot of drawbacks of Modi government as easy as pie, as pie. For example, unsatisfied with the demonetization, implementation of GST. And like that, uh, 100 jobs were promised that's not delivered either at all. 100 smart cities were promised that not delivered either at all. And policies like loan waivers is a burden among taxpayers and there is no permanent solution for tax, uh, for, for farmer issue. And a lot of farmers, rich farmers are misused this policy. And situation in Kashmir is still bad. And situation of North is, is also bad. This type of nauseating context, this type of vulgar context of Modi government, we want to raise our voice by saying Islamic politics. Actually, Islam comprises a distinct and self-contained cultural unit. Actually, political thought in Islam is the study of power. It's the study of power of who, what should exercise it and how much power they should have. We want, they want to think how much power they should have. And it's also a major point that it is about justice in relationship between people, especially relationship between those in rule and those in power. It's compulsory. And just distribution of goods among society, it's compulsory in as Islamic rules. And this is, it inquires why the states exist and what they should have tried to achieve. So dear friends, we are Islamic students. We want to convey this moral teaching of Islam in this kind of in this context. You are studying moral education. Actually, moral education. Education is the most powerful weapon. We can change this world. Is it is right? As mentioned by Nelson Mandela. Is it is right? We are, that is, education means modern education. So we are studying more moral education. If modern education can change this world, moral education can change this universe completely. So we want to utilize this moral education to change over initiating activities that's going on in our country. You work hard, you make money, you're studying your knowledge for yourself. That's not life. You want to utilize those every knowledge and you want to become that sponge that can absorb all the negativity of this government and that is the day when you live that is then you can throw why you studied this moral education so i'm going to conclude my words and it's also awesome. i ought to mention maniki again here that i'm very glad to get an opportunity to deliver a speech about this wonderful topic i'm this kind of spirit people thank you for listening and thank you for accepting me